I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm here. I'm here. Uh, how's everyone doing tonight? Got some uh, some news. That title card uh, was a lie. We are not streaming tonight, but you know, I, I just kind of wanted to uh, record something and, and put it up on the YouTube channel. I, I kind of I had other plans for the, the final episode here of, of the second season of Two Good Hours. Uh, so it it, it comes it, it came across my way that and coffee talk was always on the the list of games to do uh it seems like a i don't want to say quaint but like i think it's a cool concept uh, i i like the idea of a, a of a novel like this in games i like the concept i, I love the sprite work i love this this mellow vibe you hear that yeah i really like that um, but this, this was bumped all the way up from, I don't know, we'll get around to doing this eventually to, no, this has to be the next one. Um, cause I found out that the, the creator of this and what comes after, and I, I think it's about to come out uh, after Love EP, uh, a gentleman, uh, by the name of Mohammed Fami, uh, also go, go, going by the name of Famitsu. I love that pseudonym, by the way. Uh, his, uh, uh, unfortunately, passed away at the age of 32. And and this is a very weird week uh, in terms of uh, thinking about developers. Uh, there's a story that has captivated my attention um, for the last week or so. Uh, there's a gentleman who is trying to get the approval... Uh, from Nintendo to post not one, not two, but seven games on the 3DS and Wii U eShops. As of recording this right now, um, he has about an hour to get it all done. And he's saying, like, look, everyone here has been working super hard. Even at Nintendo has been working really hard to get these games on the eShop. And I, I really hope that goes well for him. And, and you know, I just got to thinking... That like yeah, at, at the heart, this is still a review show, and um, but I don't really, I just don't want to be negative. I I just want to give you know some games you know their their spot in the sun. You know I'm not saying every game is is perfect, but you know just just want to be a little you know, kinder and nicer and. And hopefully, you know, if you watch these two good hours, they're like, oh, I never thought about playing that. Oh, that looks really good. I, I might have to give that a shot. That's what I want you to do. And not be so quick to judge and be like, oh, that's not for me. This looks terrible, blah, blah, blah. It's just like, well, I don't know. Just find a little bit more about it, you know. Maybe there's something about it that's uh, that's appealing to you. And, and maybe we could figure that out. Maybe that's the start of liking a... Uh, new genre or something so for you but i don't know just trying to spread some kindness and 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 enjoy some of uh famitsu's work what a great name i'm sorry <laughs> i'm gonna keep going to back going back to that uh, at least more than once on that tonight uh but thank you very much if you're watching this on youtube well, you have to watch this on youtube thank you very much for watching me my name is Don, uh, that don parker if you're interested in what I'm doing, you can find me at thatdonparker.com. You can also find me on twitch.tv slash thatdonparker. You can also find me on Instagram, Etsy. And yes, that'll be about it. Yes. Uh, wrapping up season two of Two Good Hours with Coffee Talk. There's, I played a little bit of the demo. Uh, it is a visual novel. I don't think it'll take that long to beat. I don't think it's going to take us the two full hours to do. But, you know, we'll see how far we can go. Uh, and yeah, let's, let's, just, let's just get cracking. New profile. What's my name? Barista. 
Barista? Let's be silly. Barista. <laughs> or. It's not Barista. That's. Mr. Barista to you. Because why not? It, it's, it's a game. And we should still have fun with it. So. Yeah, let's get cracking. Um, I don't think now is going to go right into the story. And what an interesting setting this is. Seattle 2020. Of course, I think this game came out in... If I can read in, in the dark here. Well, I don't rightly know when this game came out. Maybe 2020? Let's see if we can get a definitive answer on that. Look at the sprite work of uh, Seattle, though. Let's just enjoy this for a little bit. Look at that sky. Wow, this came out super early in 2020. This came out on January 28th, 2020. So, uh, the, the world was still hopeful then. Oh, man. A city filled with dreams and madness. Yeah. A time when the great war between races is but a footnote in history. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. Mm. But still, it is a place of time. It is a place in time where anything can happen. Very, uh, optimistic view of Seattle. It is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. Yeah, I'll, I'll drive a car developed by dwarfs. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. When the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. And when humans live among them, as driven as ever. It is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. Hats off to you. Most of these stories are left are untold, but some few, but some find, but some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They are told over drinks. They take up residence in some stranger's memories. In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. A place where people share their stories, and these are their stories. W what a setup. What a setup. Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. Was I doing September twenty second, twenty twenty? I think I was in. I think I was on vacation. Google Photos will will tell me. No, I'm just curious now. So just just vibing right now. Just some chill beats. Don't we all need that in our lives?
yeah, I would have been in uh, in Tennessee. Taking a trip. What would I have been doing, though? I think Monday... Monday we went to Dollywood, so probably the next day after... We went hiking? Or maybe that was like a day off. It's, it's loading, well... Yeah, we went hiking that day. Yeah, we went up to a, uh... To a place called, uh, Clingman's Dome. That was, uh... That was a hard walk. <laughs> but it was fun. It was fun. Let's let's get back here. Let's, let's just vibe it. Let's just vibe. Let's just vibe. I want to hear some of these stories too. Mr. Barista, welcome. Oh, it's you. Hey, Mr. Barista, how's the night so far? I like all the elves or, or orcs or Spock in the background. It's calm as usual. We got a slight problem though. Huh? What happened? My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. Don't worry. I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. That's good to hear. Anyway, let me set things up first. You're our first customer, after all. Don't worry. Take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. So I'm used to taking things slow. Yeah, that's the truth. <laughs> Writer's block again? You got that right. What are you writing now? Do you remember my plan to... Ah. Pardon the interruption. The machine's ready. Do you want your triple shot espresso now, or... Yes, please. And if you get how to make it, just check your phone, okay? And hey, I really need that triple shot espresso. Espresso, I should say. Black than a moonless night, hotter and more bitter than hell itself. Yeah, but how do we make it? Imagine just, just three coffees? That's the base, right? Oh yeah, espresso, coffee, coffee, coffee. Brew it up. Hope there's not a, uh, a timing thing. Yeah, we'll serve it. Drown your troubles in coffee. I gave up coffee for Lent, so that sounds fantastic right about now. One cup of triple shot espresso. espresso. It's not espresso, it's espresso. You gotta keep that in mind. Special for my only customer tonight. Hmm, that aroma. Ah, exactly what I need. Yeah, I need it to dine. Anyways, where were we? You're planning to do something? Yes, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know. But it seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? Yes. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job. In case things go awry. Hee hee hee. Ha ha ha. Uh, did I say something wrong? Yeah. Plans always go wrong, but... No, you were right. You said something I should have thought about... Myself. What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers? GRA Media, right? Yes. 
and they are also the biggest book publisher in the country. So when the oppor- when an opportunity opportunity presented itself, I took it. Okay, good. What do you mean by opportunity? Well, I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So naturally, I pitched my book idea. Come on, don't look at me like that. I'm waiting for you to finish. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to do. So how did they react? Thankfully, he's seen my short stories, so he challenged me. If I can get a draft draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strings and get the friction get the fiction publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal. That sounds great. What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours, and I'm falling behind on the newspaper's deadlines. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Ouch. I don't, don't, don't feel too bad about that. I mean, you, got, you gotta get your work done, but just get your work done. You don't have to go above and beyond here. That, that's all. That's my advice to you. Follow your passions. Well, at least you got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. Again, don't look at me like that. How far along are you? Er, (laughs) hee hee. I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero? Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Um... Well, it was so bad that, that, well, after reading it, I decided to just delete everything immediately. So, zero. Huff, yes. I really need to finish it. I really need to finish it in, at most, two weeks. Then, I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan, if you can pull it off. I know, I know, you don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know. Really? Glad this place could be of service. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. Looks like a, a tiefling? Welcome. Hi there. Hello. Good evening. For here, miss? Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. Not planning to be awake all night. So, definitely no coffee. How about something chocolatey? It's perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything with chocolate in it, please. So I think... No coffee. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Hope you like chocolate. I think she'll like this. We'll serve it up. One cup of chocolatey goodness. Thank you. So warm. It is hot chocolate after all. So, you're waiting for your boyfriend? Yes, you should be here soon. Look at you now. You went from empty to three customers in one night. I thought this place would be more crowded, considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. It's because the only coffee shop that still opens that still opens past midnight is mostly empty. Now that you mention it, is it good for business having the coffee shop only open at night? Definitely not. Yep, what she said. Then why? I just love doing it. Again, follow your passions. And there's always some someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking. 
But how can you survive running this coffee shop like this? That's a secret. Mr. Bericha here is damn rich, that's a secret. Oh really? She's exaggerating. Don't worry about it, Mr. Barista. Don't worry about it, Mr. Barista can manage. <laughs> I'm glad I stuck to that name, Mr. Barista. I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon, so you'll still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. By the way, are you a regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer who works best at night in the coffee shop. Not so many options for that. Ah, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the Evening Whispers. Shut up. Wow, that's really interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their short stories. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? Thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then, are you here to write a new piece? I should be, but I don't even know what to write about. Writing is hard. Welcome. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice cha chat with the fine folks here. Hi there. Hello. Hi. Would you like to order something? Hmm. Surprise me. What kind of an order is that? I agree. Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? Something bitter to keep me awake with milk. Oh, and draw some latte art on, on the top. I think we could probably just do a latte for this gentleman. Coffee, milk, milk. I think that's fine. I hope I do get to draw a design in the latte. Yes. All right. Uh, no idea what what we can do here. Um. Yeah, no idea. Yeah, let's let's just go for like a, a fan like design. It'll subtly be like an arrow. Couple of arrows there. Let's, uh, I don't know, let's just go for something a little uh, abstract. Yeah, it's a, a checkerboard. I could have reset it, but no, I didn't want to do that. Here's your order. Haha, uh -huh. this is what what you call latte art? That's cute. Thanks. Perfect. It's it's a latte, it's hard to screw up a latte. If you don't know, if you don't I tried explaining this to a coworker. If you want to get into coffee, but you just want to order something else besides a lot uh, a coffee, try a latte. They come in like you can get like different syrups in them and I usually get a pistachio, it's pretty good. Anyways, I was distracted by some work, plus there's the rain. It's okay. It's okay, Baileys. I was having a nice chat ch with them. Oh yeah, I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Baileys. But plural? 
Oh my, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. Hi, I'm Freya. Nice to meet, nice to meet both of you. I'm Mr. Barista. Emphasis on the Mr. Hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh, really? I've done some work for them a few times. Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. I've done some caricatures and infographics for the paper. I assume you were in contact with Steve? Oh, that's Steve. What a cut up. Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? No, he isn't. But I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. <laughs> come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always something. There's always another layer of hell. How do you usually deal with bad customers here? The only bad customers this late at night are lost drunks or criminals. That sounds really bad. Nah, they're easy to handle. That's because you're good with your fists. Not as good as your coffee making skill, though. Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Whatever, whatever it is that I'm going to write. So I'll leave you to. In the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. Where are you going to write? Oh, not far. Just over at that table. at that In the corner. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Okay, have fun. Heh, 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 She'll try. I'll try. Good luck. Thanks. Vibing pretty hard right now. Should we move to, the, to other seats too? Nah, here is good. Okay then. So how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. I feel kind of awkward just gawking at this couple though. I finished my proposal early so I can get out of the office. Plus, was my, my boss was in a really good mood all day. I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is, but today was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was a great it was great seeing him smile so much. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one is a is a pain in the ass. <laughs> You know those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. You should make a meme about her. I lose my current project for a minute of laughter? That might be worth it. Well, eh. Well, you do. You, you should ask Mr. Barista here about how to handle, about how to deal with annoying clients. Oh yeah? How do you usually deal with annoying customers? The ones you don't need your fists to take care of. I do have my own methods. But it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers. It wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. Now that's one good lesson to learn for the day. Mm -hmm. Your parents? Yeah. So you talked to them? I did. It didn't end well? No. What did they say? A lot. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. They won't give us a chance at all? Anyone but an elf. That's what they said. How about you? More or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farron's place now. They kicked you out? You don't have to do this, you know. They're your family. I can't stand even one more second being par a part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still, you know what they... You don't know what they said about you last night. Uh, I'm not sure if I would have told her that. I'm sorry. What do they say about me? Or about my race, I assume? Oh, hey, this is gonna get heavy, isn't it? Forget it. I wanna know. 
Just the same old shit. Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures. About our immortality. About how even if I outlive you... What? Nothing. About how if you outlive me? No other elves would want, would want to be with an elf. That's already been tainted by a lowly succubus? Oh, she's a succubus. Oh. Are tieflings and succu succubuses succubi the same? I, I don't know. I, I don't know what a tiefling is. I, I, I don't. I really don't. That's exactly what they said. So this is it then. The end of our relationship. It doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. We can continue to just, we can, con we can just continue this. What do you mean? Then we'll need to know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know. We can't just elope. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Lua, I don't care about their permission. I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You'll, you'll lose your immortality. If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. Didn't realize that immortality is like a uh, trust fund. Alright. You're making this hard for both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. Yeah, but he's a freelancer. She has like an office job. Uh, I don't know. I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. We will wait. I'm sorry you had to listen to our problems. <laughs> Fine by me. That's all right. This coffee shop has seen all kinds of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. <laughs> I hope so too. Do you have any alcohol? Sadly, no. That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? Do you like green tea lattes? Green tea lattes? I'll take one. Ah, uh, what's this? Toma... Toma de Chill. Oh, it's like a Facebook. Okay. So, Lua... I used to come in here. Apparently, if I'm friends with her. Biz business available lead. Business developer lead at Discovery National Capital. Freelance designer. Apparently, we already added him too, apparently. That's... Alright, I'm a weirdo. Whatever. Green tea, milk, milk. Make a green tea latte. design for the latte art but oh I hit the wrong button it's ZR to pour the milk A to serve it yikes not good well this is good thank you for this by the way are you married me no do you have someone you love I love this coffee shop but I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for Heh, I really didn't have any expectations. Man, out of all the people in the world, why did I fall for her? You can't choose who you fall in love with. You can if you try hard enough. At least that's what my own man said. He is, he is really one pretentious elf. I'm going to start calling people that from now on. Man, he is really one pretentious elf. 
but I guess all of them are. Yeah, yeah. Entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. I mean, he, he's not wrong. I, I like playing elves, but you know, they can be a little douchey. At least you have an eternity to learn and change. Or an eternity to be an eternal asshole. Anyway, I need to go now and probably drink myself under until the sun rises. There's still a while until sunrise. We're time for me to drink then. See you around. See you around too, Miss Freya. Thank you. Do visit again. You were listening from the corner? She looks distraught. Yes. Poor souls. Hope they found a way to be together. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. Have to get up earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm going to close up shop after si after this. That's pretty early. I know. After the rest of the delivery deliveries come in tomorrow, I'll open as usual. Okay, you have a good night then. You too. Cafe Latte. A caffeine boost dominated by milk. That's uh, one way of putting it. Big believer in lattes, so. I wish I had a latte right now. Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020. Zombie... Zombie virus from Africa may have reached Seattle. Seattle groceries distribution problems harm local restaurants. Fire plans to enforce stricter regulations to manage illegal immigration. That orc is distraught. Man, please be Freya. Okay. Good evening. Good, good gracious. What is wrong with you? Can't you just enter like, a, enter like a normal customer? I'm sorry, but I'm so excited to share this with you. What are you talking about? I know what to write for my novel. Is it one of your impulsive, temporary ideas again? Hey, don't be rude. I'm being serious here. Okay, okay, just tell me. What are you going to write about? This coffee shop. What? I'm going to write stories about this coffee shop and the people who come here. Are you for real? Yes. What if I say you can't do that? I'm not asking for permission. It's like a breach of the customer's personal lives, you know? Relax, I know that. I just need some in inspiration from this place. The stories themselves will be loosely based on what I hear and see here. How loosely based? Knife, knife Walker novel versus movie level... I don't know why it's this is this is uh, clunking for me. Knife Walker novel versus movie level loosely based. The old one? Well, of course I'm talking about the old one. Oh, so they remade it. Oh, no one really liked it. Okay. That's already very different, you know. You can't get more different than that. I mean, it's not like I can tell you not to write about a coffee shop, right? No, you can't. Although you can't just ban me for coming. Okay, you're banned. What? Just kidding. I wouldn't do that to my loyal customer. Very funny. Thanks for not banning me, though. Anyway, no. I'm unbanning you. Big difference. I'm really excited to see who's going to come tonight. I wonder what kind of stories they'll have. Georgie. Good evening, y'all. Good evening, Officer Georgie. Hey, Pop. Seems like you're in high spirits this evening, Miss Freya. And please, Mr. Barista, no need to be that formal with me. Haha, <laughs> we're both on duty here. 
hence the formalities. Officer Georgie, Mr. Barista. It's kind of funny how that all works out. You're as stiff as ever. Anyways, I have a shift tonight. So, I'll need the usual. You have all, all the ingredients today? Not everything, but more than yesterday. Except for tea. I'm out of tea. You still re remember my favorites, right? Coffee with a hint of sweetness. Got that right. Make sure not to use milk. Yeah. Thanks to your Toma... Toma... Wait, I can say this. Like It's like Tomodachi life. Tomodachi profile. Everyone knows you're lactose intolerant, Georgie. Anyways, a cup of sweet, healthy coffee, please. Yeah, no idea. What we can make this dude. Birthday is June 1st, though. Good for him. like we can with a hint of sweetness coffee coffee cocoa powder that's my guess oh ginger honey coffee. Seems pretty healthy. See if uh, Officer Georgie likes it. Coffee with honey for the man on duty. Not everyone can manage this combination as well as you. Yes. Thank you. Swish. By the way, I haven't ordered anything myself. Provide me with the service like you gave the old pop here, please. What are you having? You still need to ask, huh? You never know. Espresso, of course. The one and only espresso. Coffee, coffee, coffee. A starless night sky for the green-haired fairy. Interesting way of serving up a coffee drink. I kind of like that. Very, uh. This is good writing. I like this. It's very, um, vibrant. There's, there's a lot of charm and personality here. I'm not even sure whether that's a compliment or not. Mm, I don't think it is. This is perfect. So, how's everything going at the paper, Miss Freya? As usual. Awful. She's making a risky deal with her boss. Yeah, pretty much. What kind of deal? A possibly life-altering deal. A very dangerous one at that. Okay. A deal she regretted. Not that much. Folks, seriously. Care to share the details properly? You tell them. She's streakingly using her working hours to do something else. Something like writing her own novel. You got balls, I can tell you that. She does. Gee, thank you. How's the leap of faith going so far? It's not slowing down, that's for sure. Not gonna lie, I have done plenty of things non-work related during working hours. You can't do it all the time. But, uh, y you could slide some things in there. You could definitely get some stuff done if you know what you're doing. And I haven't seen any s safe hay sacks to fall into. Good luck with that. Don't worry, she's not losing her job. At least, not yet. Her life will be pretty hard if she misses this thing up, though. 
Thank you for the reminder. So yeah, Mr. Barista said, my editor-in-chief doesn't know about it yet. My, my novel is going to be published by our parent company. Anyway. So technically, I'm still doing work for the company. She'll be really pissed if, he sh if she finds out, though. Wait. Is stealing time a crime? Technically, I might have to arrest you. Hey, you do it all the time, too. Those are just coffee breaks. Sometimes they might take longer than they were meant to. But still, coffee breaks. You're making me feel worse by saying that. You should feel bad. Stop by stop adding salt to the wound, okay? It's just a fact. Haha. <laughs> I'm not sure whether this will make you feel better or not, but if your writing career goes up in flames, the police force was is always looking for people with balls as big as yours. Just to mention that you like to do other things during working hours. I wanna say thanks. But I feel like I should be offended. I'm sure you'll do just fine, Miss Freya. Do you have any idea what you're going to write about? I have, actually. Oh, good. What will it be about? A coffee shop and the stories people tell inside. You're letting her do that? There's no stopping her. What's wrong? Please don't write about, my, about any shady-looking police officers who love to take breaks more than they should have inside coffee shop inside the coffee shop near their post. Ha ha ha. I will definitely write about that police officer. He'll make a good comedic character. Was that a compliment or are you making fun of me, eh? I will call that a compliment. Is it? I don't think so. Hey, what do you have against me tonight? Mr. Barista is probably just worried about losing customers due to breach of privacy. He he he. Come on, it's not like I'll be using real names. And I'll be... And I'll dramatize most of the things I've heard, of course. That's even worse. Here's the thing. Uh, the, st the stories I've heard, they'll only be inspiration for what I write. By the way, as someone stationed here, I've assumed that you've heard a lot of stories from people around here, right? No. Come on. Nope. No, no, no. You helped me once with one of the stories I wrote for the paper. The one about the secretly rich beggar hanging around the block? I'm sure you can give me other interesting tips. I've helped you more than once, actually. What, really? Now it's my turn to say, come on. Which stories are you talking about? You asked for the information about the busker. The one who's always playing his guitar, always got a rose with him? Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah, poor guy. Hearing about your girlfriend passing during an investigation is... I don't know. It's hard. He took it quite well, to be honest. It was hard, but at least you gave him closure. He never complained that you used his story for the paper. I got his blessing before giving it to the editors. Well, at least he's become more popular since the article was published. More income for someone in this line of work? Yeah, the rose had become some the rose has become some kind of prop for him now. Anyway, back to the topic. This is nice and mellow. I I am having I'm having a good time playing this. Where are we at with uh, time? Got about another ten minutes. Okay. Back to the topic. Any hot tips? Okay. Have you heard about this one girl? Ooh, tell me, tell me. Lately, this girl's coming to a coffee shop in the, area, in the area more than before. She's pretty weird. I don't know what her deal is. But she has bright green hair. Oh, come on. I was so excited to hear about something real. You think you're not real? Wow, that went deep fast. Faster than my career, career going downhill. Hey, what's with the sudden mood? Yeah, cheer up, girl. Ugh. Sorry, I'm having mood swings because of the pressure. You'll do just fine. I mean, you're great with your short stories. By the way, why is this coffee shop? Um, because I spend a lot of my time here, I guess. And then there's this couple that visited the coffee shop yesterday. What about them? 
they're going through a pretty hard time together. You know, different races, different cultures, families don't approve. When I heard their story, I kind of felt their pain. What's happening to them happens to a lot of people. It's been told in fictional form countless times before. But it's always an interesting topic to discuss. Are they regulars here? Nope. But you added them on that fake Facebook. Mr. Barisa, I didn't do that. The girl visited this place before, if I'm not mistaken. She was with her co-workers or clients, helping her friends sober up, I guess. You gave people coffee to sober up? Of course not. Some folks request coffee, but I recommend against it. I usually end up giving them the tea, hot chocolate, or just plain water. That's nice of you. I hope they don't get pissed about the wrong order. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Good for you. Anyway, look at the time. It's time for my shift. Oh yeah, go on and do your job, old man. Don't forget to share anything interesting. Don't forget to share anything interesting you hear, you hear with me. I don't know why. I, I just can't focus tonight. I do apologize. Let's not make this a habit. Can't promise you that. Okay then, see you later, everyone. Take care, Officer Georgie. Later. What a nice fellow. I think I need to go back to my writing. No offense, but I need to concentrate like crazy. So I'll move to my usual corner. Go look with the writing. And don't forget to keep yourself hydrated. Here, take this glass of water. Oh, you're just the best, Mr. Barista. You're welcome. Okay, off to the world of imagination I go. Go on. Get. Mm, that should do for the experiment. Ah, someone's coming. Oh, I can, uh... Oh, welcome, Mr. Gala. Hi, Mr. Barista. Can we sit here? Sure thing. Oh, she is none too happy. Hmm, this is the place you recommended? You don't like it? It's fine. I know it's not like the coffee shops you're used to in LA, but... Gala? It's fine. Er, sorry to interrupt you. But do you want to order anything? Yes. What do you want to drink? You first. Okay. Anything with coffee and ginger, please. Oh, that's going to be super bitter. Super hot and super bitter. Golly, are you serious, bro? No. Coffee? Ginger, ginger. Coffee. Coffee, ginger. Something about this just doesn't seem right. get it Jahe Tabrook hope you like it bro your order is ready sir thank you how about you sir what would you like to order is it good I like it not sure if it will be to your liking or not okay I'll have whatever he's having. I completely forgot what I gave you. Was it two coffees and a ginger? Or a coffee and two gingers? I think it was a coffee and two gingers.
Okay, that was not. And so, coffee, coffee, ginger. Thank goodness I'm allowed to uh, make drinks. Here's your order. Mm, good choice. Anyway, how's the town treating you so far? Same old. I was surprised seeing so many changes after just a few years, though. Yeah, things changed a lot in just 20 years. Even this coffee shop. I believe this was a bar back then? When did you open up this coffee shop? We opened around six years ago, Mr... Mr. Excuse me. Hyde. My name is Hyde. From what I gathered, you're from L.A., right? I am. Used to live here decades ago, though. What brings you back to Seattle? I'm here for work. I'll probably be here for a few weeks. He travels a lot. I see. You two have known each other a long time, I assume? You could say that? Yeah, I think we met not so long after you got married, right? It was around the 60s, I believe? Wow, that was a long time ago. Not for our kind. Wait, if I'm not mistaken... Oh, that's... Oh! <laughs> The peace treaty between werewolves and vampires was signed in 1865. So when you guys said you met in the 60s, were you talking about the 1860s? Don't look at each other like that. <laughs> no, we met in the 1960s. We're old by some racist standards, but not that old. Although it's still fair to say we haven't seen each other in a long time. I guess 20 years is a long time. This was the place, wasn't it? Where we first met? Yeah, when it was a bar. They moved? Bankrupt. Ah, uh, such a pity. Uh-huh. Hmm. Er, you're happy the bar closed down? What's with the smile, if you don't mind? Heh, <laughs> nothing. I was just wondering. Will history, history repeat itself? I certainly hope not. I've been coming to your place since the first week you opened. You got something special here. It won't close down anytime soon. Thank you, Mr. Gala. A werewolf named Gala. Okay. Sure. Speaking of, it's been quite a while since, you, since your last visit. Does he work? Kinda. With the news about... The the newfound virus going viral. The hospital has been extremely crowded. Is the virus that dangerous? No one is sure about that. But most people who came in, who just come in are just, I don't want to use this word, but they're just paranoid. You're still doing the same job in the same hospital? What was it called? Admission officer. And yes, I'm still a hospital admission officer there. They should give you a promotion for your loyalty and long, long service. They offered me a managerial position, but I declined. I prefer doing this. Heh. <laughs> to each their own. Anyway, I was wondering, do they still... Do they still sell legal blood at your hospital? They do. Although people don't need it to visit the hospital directly anymore. They can just order through that Blood Marketplace app. Are you talking about Bloodlast? What? Uh-huh. Bloodlast is getting their supply from the hospital? They can't certify blood on their own. Only hospitals and the Ministry of Health can do that. They're just middlemen with a lot of sales promos. Do you use it often? Not really. I'm trying a new vegan lifestyle, remember? But I do know the founder of that startup. Oh yeah, how's your vegan diet going? It's not easy, but nothing I can't conquer. That a, you know. It's giving me a lot of ideas myself. Excuse me for asking. By going vegan, do you mean you don't drink blood anymore? 
Not real blood. Synthetic blood. Synthetic blood? It'll be too complicated to explain. I.e., there's no substitute for the real thing. So that's why you should always donate blood, which is usually where I leave off uh, these streams. So that was the first hour of Coffee Talk for yeah, for, for tonight. And we're going to hop. We're just going to take a quick little break. We'll see you in a little bit. We're going to do hour two shortly. And then I hope you have a great rest of your day. If you like what you saw here, you can always leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can always find me at thatdonparker.com. You can always find me on YouTube, on Instagram, on Etsy, as well as twitch.tv slash thatdonparker. Thank you very much for joining me here today. And I will see you for hour two, for two good hours of Coffee Talk. We're going to appreciate the heck out of some developers here tonight. And it's going to be a good time, I promise, for hour two. We'll see you in a little bit, and donate blood, because there really is no substitute for the real thing. <laughs>